Hello and welcome to 6 Minutes. I'm Gemma Collins. Concerns about the overuse of antibiotics and resistance may not be something new, but it seems that antibiotic use is on the rise. And the NPS is this year calling for action, saying the implications could be catastrophic. This month, the NPS is launching a five-year campaign warning doctors and their patients about the dangers of antibiotic resistance. We spoke to NPS clinical advisor, Dr. Danielle Stovasser, to find out more about it. When you have a look at antibiotic use internationally, Australia sits at higher than average compared to the OECD countries in our antibiotic use. So about 24 defined daily doses compared to 18 um, internationally. The programs that NPS have been running and other organisations have seen reductions in antimicrobial usage over the last 10 or 12 years, but that's slowly starting to creep back up again. Interesting thing for GPs that we're promoting in this current campaign is about the difference between population resistance and individual resistance. So it's the new concept there is about that an individual can be exposed to an antibiotic which then promotes resistance which may then last in the gut or in the respiratory flora of a consumer for between 6 and 12 months after they've finished that course of antibiotic. So that, that means that people then when they go to have their next round of antibiotics may not be responsive to that antibiotic or may result in the need for a different choice of antibiotic. Mm. It's interesting that a lot of consumers actually don't come in expecting an antibiotic but there's a GP perception that they want an antibiotic. So communication about consumer expectations is our big tip and having that understanding and then being able to explain to consumers the importance of symptomatic management rather than use of antibiotics in a lot of responsibility respiratory tract infections. At the moment, clinical software can be set to automatically prompt for a repeat. And this has actually been shown to drive a behaviour where consumers will then get that repeat dispensed and have a longer duration of treatment than what's actually necessary. So we're encouraging GPs to consider whether or not they should have that prompt on for repeats and to absolutely think about the duration of therapy that's required and let the consumer know about that. It is possible for a pharmacist to break a pack if a shorter duration of therapy is required. So we're asking GPs to consider when they're prescribing about how much, what duration is actually needed because we do know that a pro prolonged duration of antibiotics increases the likelihood of resistance. Mm. There are a range of tools that are available to them. Um, we have symptomatic management pads that GPs would be familiar with that would be also available from their software. They can also have a visit from an MPS facilitator to provide them with additional information. We're offering some skills training sessions in patient-centred communication. Um, we have some webinars that are also involving some specialists that GPs can get additional information to use with the consumer. Well, we expect to hear a lot more about this as the campaign develops. I'm Gemma Collins. See you next week.